I am here tonight, and I am going to talk about this crazy game. Biggest comeback in NFL history. 33 at halftime, 33 to 0. The Indianapolis Cole chokes, excuse me, Colts choke to the freaking um, um, Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota come back and win this game. What was the final score? Like 39 36. I don't even remember. I couldn't believe this game, man. Matt Ryan now part of, oh my lord, I feel so sorry for Matt Ryan, man. This guy has so much bad luck, man. It was 33-0 at one point, I believe. The halftime score, yeah, it was 33-0 at halftime, man. What happened to the Colts, man? Matt Ryan just has the, the worst luck in the world, ladies and gentlemen. He really does, man. Um, they scored um, freaking... They only scored two touchdowns in the in the in the third quarter. They did the most scoring in, in the freaking um they scored twenty one in the in the twenty one points. The fourth the, the fourth quarter was a huge difference, man, as they outscored um um Indianapolis twenty one to zero did um freaking Minnesota, man. That was the money quarter for Minnesota. The fourth quarter, man, winning it twenty one to zero, man. At the end there, in overtime, they, the freaking kicker, Greg Joseph, wins it 39-36 with a damn field goal. What a game, man. 33-0 at one point. Um, even when it was 36-14, my dad's like, oh, they might be coming back. I was laughing. And then, like I said, that fourth quarter, 21-0, flat out, take it to overtime and win it. What a game, man. I couldn't believe it, man. Matt Ryan, first he loses a Super Bowl after having a 25-point lead. And biggest Super Bowl uh, comeback in history. And now he loses the biggest regular season comeback in history. 33-0. to zero. What the hell, Matt Ryan? Let's look at some stats, man. Freaking, um... Let's look at some stats, man. Matt Ryan, 19 for 30, 382 yards. One touchdown. Despite putting up 33 points, Matt Ryan only had 182 yards passing. Wow. Jesus Christ. Um, Zach Moss, 81 yards. Um, what's his face? Um, Jonathan Taylor got hurt in this game, so he pretty much missed the whole game, man. The Jonathan Taylor, man. That was maybe a big loss for them. Michael Pittman, 10 catches, 60 yards. Um, Deion Jackson had a touchdown. Um, Alec Pierce had another touchdown. Um... But yeah, man, freaking um there were some turnovers I think tier two, man. Um We had some turnovers, man. We have a we had a what was it? Overall we had three fumbles and all they all they lost only one fumble. That was the thing, man. This wasn't even like interceptions. Matt Ryan threw zero interceptions. Now there was another play, right, where they they fumbled, but the running back got ruled um down. Otherwise, it wouldn't even gone to overtime. They would have probably won in regulation, freaking 43 to 36, without needing to need overtime, man. Jesus Christ, man. Let's look at Kirk Cousins. 34 for 54, 460 yards by Kirk Cousins. Jesus Christ. Four touchdowns, two interceptions. He had two interceptions. Um, I believe both of those were like pick six, too. Um, Dublin Cook, six, 96 yards. Um, CJ Ham had a touchdown. Um, the other running back, man, KJ Olsen, 10 catches, 157 yards, one touchdown. Justin Jefferson, 12 catches, 123 yards, one touchdown. Dalvin Cook, four catches, 95 yards, one touchdown. Adam Thielen, one touchdown. What a game, man. What a freaking game by Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings, man. What a comeback, man. Jesus Christ, man. 460 yards, four touchdowns for Kirk Cousins. I couldn't believe it, man. Justin Jefferson, man, he got a slow get going, but at the end, they're finished with 12 catches, 123 yards, one touchdown. What a game, man. What a comeback. Is Jeff Saturday going to get fired? <laughs> are they going to go on their fucking, excuse me, this is part of my language, I'm a professional. Um, are they going to go on their third coach of the year, Jim Ursic, going to go rant again? This team, I can't believe this happened. They, they got they got um, really messed up. They got beat up um, a few weeks ago in Dallas. What was it, like, I don't even remember, like 55 to like 19. Um, and then this happens, 33-0. 
Jesus. And then they come back and they, they come back and beat them 30. What was the final score? 39, 36. This team, man, I don't know. Is Jeff Saturday the answer? I don't, I don't know. You got to give him more time. The problem with, I think, I, I think they got to press a reset button. Um, outside of Jonathan Taylor and Michael Pittman, there's not a lot of weapons offensively. Um, offensive line is getting older now. You keep you you, you keep freaking changing quarterbacks, right? Freaking Carson Wentz, um, Philip Rivers, Matt Ryan, Jacoby Bursat. Ever since Andrew Luck retired, I believe they had a different quarterback every year. They have got to eventually just accept the fact that um, it's time to Andrew Luck messed the freaking franchise, and it's. It's time to freaking um, reset the button, man. And I don't know if Jeff Saturday's the man or not, but you, I think you got to press the reset button on this franchise. Now, what are you going to do next? You're bringing Derek Carr? Because it looks like Matt Ryan's done, right? He looks fried. He looks like he's washed. So what are you going to do again? You're going to bring in another one next year? You brought in three. You brought in... Uh, um, pos you, uh, I'm, I'm going to say Philip Rivers, a Hall of Famer. Matt Ryan may have a chance at a Hall of Fame. He's played in multiple playoff games. Um, he's um, been in a Super Bowl. He's won a league MVP. And then you bring in, you bring in a potential franchise quarterback in Carson Wentz, right? And he didn't work out either. So you got to change it up, man. But ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Until next time, I'm a like a light.